Oh my god, guys, I'm so excited for this! Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video and you read the title so you know that this is my book two-a-thon TBR. <laughs> participated in the booktube a but ever since I started watching booktube, which was like two years ago, I saw everyone do that readathon and everyone doing wrap-ups and TBRs and just doing the challenges and I was like, oh my god, I want to participate so badly, but every time that the booktube a would start, I would still be having school, but this year it will be the week after my exams are finished and I literally screamed because I found out yesterday that I could be participating in the booktube a for the very first time. I am so excited. I do not know how many books I will finish though, if it's gonna be a complete flop or if I'm gonna actually succeed pretty well. I hope that I will be able to read three to four books. I don't think that's gonna happen, but we will see. But I don't think that I'll be participating in the video challenges just because reading video challenges, s still some school things, and going to parties all at once is gonna be a little bit too hectic. So I think that this year I will just start with reading, participating just in the reading part and not really in the video making part. And then next year when I will be probably done with high school, I can just read along, make the videos, and it will just be a-okay. Yeah, let's go on to the challenges and the books that I picked for that challenge. So you can combine challenges as well because I know that I won't be able to finish seven books. That would be absolutely crazy, but I hope three to four, like I said. I will probably pick like multiple challenges for the same book, but it's all okay. The first challenge is read a book with yellow on the cover. So I already said in my June wrap-up and July TBR video that I'm currently reading Baker's Magic by Diane Zaylor and that I will probably be able to finish it while I'll be having my test week. But I don't think so, because right now I'm filming this right before my test week, so I should actually be studying, but I'm not doing that. But I don't really think that I have time to read this upcoming next week, um, so I will be reading this during the book a -thon. It has a little bit of yellow on it, so I think that this is okay, so... Baker's Magic. And maybe if I did finish Baker's Magic, I would probably pick Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen because it has a sort of yellow spine, so yes. Challenge two is read a book only after sunset. For this challenge, I will pick two books as well as the last challenge. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows because I want to finish this book before I will be going to the wizarding world of Harry Potter in Orlando. I will be going there and I'm so freaking excited. And I do want to finish reading the Harry Potter series. Like, of course, I've seen all the movies but this is my very first time reading it and I I just really want to finish it but it is like 550 pages in the Dutch version and maybe like even in the English version it's like 700 to 800 pages. Not too sure if I will be able to do that though but I hope that I will be able to finish this. And another book that I would pick for this challenge to read after sunset is City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare because I loved City of Bones. I read it in May and I just really want to continue on with this series. The only thing is that I don't have the third book, City of Glass, because I want to have it in this UK paperback edition but it's not on book depository like it hasn't been for a couple of weeks um but i do really want to read city of ashes because i'm just so excited to read what's next and what's gonna happen to these characters and challenge number three is read a book you discover through booktube and i can basically just read the books that i've already shown you for that challenge because i've discovered all of them through booktube except for like harry potter because you know that's just Everyone knew that, not only people from booktube. Challenge number four is read a book by one of your favorite authors. And uh, for that one, I also pick Harry Potter because J.K. Rowling is definitely a favorite author. I don't know if I will read her like mystery thriller books because I just don't like those kinds of books. Yeah, I'm just picking Harry Potter for it. I don't know if, if it's like really cheating because I haven't read all of her books. Just picking this one. Challenge number five is read a book that's older than you. And for that one, I've got Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carol. I love this book only by just looking at it like the hearts are so cute and you have drawings in the book but I have seen the movie a couple of years ago but I just don't remember it that well anymore so I'm just excited to read it. Challenge number six is read and watch a book to movie adaptation and that is what I've been doing with the Harry Potter books ever since I started reading them. I told my dad that when I finish a Harry Potter book I want to re-watch the movies because right now we all have them on blu-ray. I will definitely be watching 
one out of the two movies. I don't know if I will see both of them because they're like two and a half hours each and I also have other stuff to do. I really, really want to watch at least one of those movies. Challenge number seven is read seven books and that is a challenge that I won't complete. Like I already know that. I have shown you like four or five books in this video alone, uh, but I am just so excited to participate. If you're participating too, let me know in the comments down below. I'm very excited to see all the people who will be participating in the Booktube-a-thon. This will be my very first time and I hope that it will end successfully. You guys can follow me on all of my social medias, which are Instagram, Snapchat, and Goodreads. And I will also leave a link to my email address in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.